on the Daysville look in the scenario in which we continue our Kaiser Rost series. And well, the first thing we'll do, and guess what? We're in season two. So this is a future, not the past anymore. So well, it's an alternate future now. Well, I think honestly, a good idea probably is to change this alliance to green as it's more realistic. As they're still controlling many puppets, because they'll probably leave if you let them. And Iran, fearing a second war with Russia, decides to join America's team. And well, the southern part of Germany and the northern part of Germany decides to unite with completely allowed by their allies. Well, the southern Brazilian state decides to join America's alliance along with Paraguay and the Central American states. And while a lot of African nations are wary about both sides, mostly because, well, their countries have seen invasions from both and see both as imperial threats. With Kenya, I guess that's what that got called, or is it Northeast Africa? Well, Southeast Africa, I think I called it, decides to do something they shouldn't. They decide to invade their northern neighbor. Yeah, that's not very peaceful. Or united, no. Why? It's the new era. It's 2026 by now. And well, as you can see, they're invading. And well, this country doesn't even have time to resist. Well, it quickly starts to fall. Well, then it surrenders. Let's see, creating, well, East Africa. The East African Federation exists in this timeline. Much earlier. Well, with China moving towards the West more and more, and Thailand decides to join up with the West, and Afghanistan is wary about both sides because, well, they were invaded, and Ethiopia wants to be in charge of the East Corn of Africa. So they start a war. Keep in mind, these wars are because, well, I don't know. They're just breaking out as countries in Africa want to become stronger. And a lot are starting to believe in African unionism, which is an idea of Africa being united. But they ever I want to be in charge of this idea. So, like, it's not very peaceful. And well, Ethiopia just decides to get rid of it. I guess if you don't like the nation, you should just get rid of it. And well, that's probably a good idea. And well, they annex just sneezed in the middle of saying it. So yeah, really great. With this border, that green being gotten rid of, why is it even on this map? But some countries in this area are going to start to collapse. With the inner part of this union, with the outer part deciding to form a new nation. The inner part decides to form with these lands declaring their will to create Niger, which comes into existence in this timeline. And while Libya kind of doesn't have that much luck, and while they fall into three nations, yeah, they fall apart, right apart. And then Tunisia, seeing this time as a good advantage, decides to gain independence, leaving a bunch of land. With the inner part more pro-Russia, as they view Russia's going to invade them eventually, so they might as well just join them so they don't invade. Well, Romania wants to take the rest of that, but they can't. And now, trying to stop Russia from getting won over, they decide to align with the East African Union and... Ethiopia Empire, which they'll probably get rid of because they'll invade another country. Assuming they don't invade any more countries, they're allowed to join this pact. And while the two new Libya states fearing that state invading them decides to join with them. And China gets close to joining America's Union, but doesn't yet. With this new country deciding to join with Russia, along with Cameroon. As you can see in this series, it's getting ready for another war. 
with the rest of South America and Hispaniola countries decided to join it, and all the countries along the water, Caribbean, with this alliance being strong. But then the two Italys decide to unite, which is permitted by them. Nowhere else unifies. With France wanting Britain to leave that area, but Britain refuses, so for now that stayed the way it is. China is very pro this alliance, so this alliance is starting to fund people who don't like this part. But they don't really gain much support as they realize how much damage that group of people has done. And well, Russia decides to expand into the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. And they even get Sudan, which leads to nations like these three nations deciding to take the U.S. And at this point, China decides to join the U.S.'s alliance after an attempted coup by the Russians. And then East, or would that be West? Yeah. West Indonesia joins Russia, along with Algeria and Mauritania. Or at least that's what I would assume it's called, or it's called Mali. And then this nation fears South Africa's takeover in that nation. This nation, and no other nations really fair, I think, except these two nations decide to join the blue team. And this one, just because Algeria could easily invade it, Libya, could easily have Algeria help them to invade it to take it back. And that's pretty much all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment while Mapper out when I subscribe. Bye, guys!